Hello everybody, my name is Paweł and welcome to Cosviewer First tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to give you general understanding of what the software is all about. And in order to do so, I have prepared a simple example which I am about to walk you through. Let us consider the following example. There is a marketing company which employs three people and manages three brands, cookies, lollipops and chocolate. Looking at left pane, we have marketing director, let's call him Peter, whose salary is 1000. Peter claims to spend 70% of his time managing his marketeers, Susie and Mark. Susie, given she's more senior than Mark, earns 500 and Mark earns 400. Unlike Peter, Mark and Susie are fully devoted to brands. They spend their whole time managing brands. And because Susie is more senior, she looks after two brands, cookies and lollipops, and spends the same amount of her time on each. Whereas Mark, being junior, manages chocolate brand only. Additionally, Peter, our marketing director, has decided to spend 30% of his time supporting chocolate brand directly, knowing Mark is too junior to handle the task on his own. Based on the following assumptions, our task is to calculate two things. One, to find out what total cost is for each brand. And two, to understand what amount of each person is embedded in, that is absorbed by each brand. To do that, we are going to run calculation and I could press just one button to obtain the results. However, I'm not going to do that for the sake of this tutorial and to keep things transparent for you. And instead, I'm going to run primary settlement first, followed by secondary settlement. So what is primary settlement? It's a first cycle of allocation during which all original objects costs or income are charged out and then charged in to their respective predefined receivers. In our example, during primary settlement, Mark cost was absorbed by chocolate brand and Susie cost was split evenly between lollipops and cookies. We have yet one more cost item, that is 30% of marketing director cost, which is also absorbed by chocolate brand next to Mark cost. You may have noticed that out of 1,900 cost, we have already passed on 1,200. The remaining 700 represents 70% of marketing director cost, which during first cycle was charged out from Peter and charged in to Susie and Mark, 350 each. At this stage, the amount was not passed on to brands yet, and that cost will be moved during secondary settlement. So let's run our secondary settlement now. Now you can see that my organization tree has zero balance under secondary cost column. We had 1,900 and all of this amount was passed on to brands. Brands tree has balance of 1,900 now. If we expand the tree, we can already see the answer to our first question. We can tell what each brand cost is. To answer our second question, we need to expand the nodes. Let's take a look at cookies brand first. Total cost consists of 50% of Suzy cost and something else. The second item represents 35% of Peter cost that was in first instance charged out to Susie and following that only half of it was charged to Cookie's brand. Effectively, that item represents 17.5% of Peter cost. And we have identical situation in the Lollipops brand. Now let's take a look at chocolate brand. It consists of three line items. First two represent cost elements 
that were recovered during primary settlement. The third item represents marketing director cost, Peter, that was charged to mark in primary settlement cycle and afterwards it was charged to chocolate brand. Now we can provide answer to our second question. As by now we know what cost elements are embedded in each brand. In this simple example we have demonstrated how to calculate brands cost and their cost components without writing one single formula. Of course you can achieve much more with cost viewer and there are several other features the software offers. These are covered in other tutorials. Thanks for watching. I hope by now you have gained better understanding of what Cost Viewer is and you have enjoyed the tutorial. For more information, check out other Cost Viewer tutorials. Bye.